Masters, welcome to the stage. Super excited. Okay, let's just get right into it, you guys. Um, Michael, uh, you're the ultimate fan. So how do you go from a kid playing with Godzilla toys to directing a larger than life Godzilla movie? And what does that feel like? And are you plotting? What was that last part, sorry? Are you plotting? What am I plotting? You are free, no, plotting, freaking out, oh, losing yeah, it. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm still a kid playing with Godzilla toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just much bigger, much more expensive. Oh, seriously. Yes. Um, you guys are all now a part of this incredible Godzilla legacy. What did it mean for you to sign on to this movie? Let's just start with Millie. We'll go down the line. Yes, very exciting. Hi, by the way. Hi. Um, no, it was very exciting and, and to work with such great actors and Carl, who's not here. You know, it was very, it was very fun and um, yeah, I was, I was very excited. But very, it was very nerve-wracking just because it's it is such a big franchise and so many before me, <laughs> probably yeah. way before I was even born, so that's scary. Um, so yeah, it's so, scarier for us. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so um, it was very fun though, but yeah. Had you seen any Godzilla movies before you signed on to this? No, franchise? no. Did you dive in once? Yes, I did, or? I did, I had to, was, yeah. yeah. How about you here, like? Yeah, you know what, Asia, Godzilla was never my jam, but, but Land of the Lost was. Yeah. And, you know, I, so when I was a kid like this, you know, her age, I would always be daydreaming, like sitting in the parking lot at AMP, looking over at the horizon, thinking about, like, oh, what if a mythical prehistoric creature just came my way, and, like, how could I convince it not to eat me or charm me? And, and so, yeah, I've been daydreaming about monsters for a long time, and when someone comes along and says, can I pay you for daydreaming about that process? I'm like, yeah. I just love that, like, like teenage years, like super intellectual. How would I discuss my demise with this monster in order to persuade it not to, not to charm me? It's like the most intellectual daydreams ever. Um, well, O'Shea, you, you, I want to understand. Like, this is actually this is your jam, right? You're like you were a Godzilla fan and you were a collector. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I've been waiting for this movie. You know, I uh, kind of got thrown into acting a little bit, but this is why you do movies, right? Here. This is a childhood dream, and I'm glad I get to be a part of it. Yeah. And were, you, were you freaking out? I mean, a lot of the time you're working, you're not seeing the monster. You're just imagining it. Oh, I've been seeing him my whole life. <laughs> you know, and so it, I, I've been waiting for this. You know, when you see a giant blue screen and you hear him roar, Mike made sure we, we felt him roar. I had yeah. giant, speakers, Did giant you? speakers set up on set with like a, an iPad so I could play the roars of the different creatures. Very scary. Whenever oh, he wanted. That's amazing. That is, that's super dope. Everyone's just like, rawr. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of a sexy, Bottom. rawr. Tell us, is this, was, this a, was this a franchise that you knew well, or was, it, was this like a new world for you? Uh, I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> no, I, this was, uh, uh, I, this was me getting, a, getting an audition and doing it and walking away and being like, well, there's no way that's happening. And then being, and then being pleasantly surprised. <laughs> 